Hey y'all, Azim here. We are looking at a muscle model of the arm. This would be the anterior view. You can see the palm. Anterior view of the left arm. Here's the pollux. Uh, let's first look at the brachial region. Muscles in the brachial region are going to be moving the forearm, the antebrachial region. So we're going to be bending or, or bending somehow, extending or flexing at the humeral ulnar joint. So our favorite muscle, here is the biceps brachii. You have to say the full name. Biceps means two heads, it has two heads. Brachii means the brachial region. I say you should say the full name because there's also a biceps femoris. There's a similar looking muscle in the, in the leg, it's part of the hamstrings. And it's kind of uh, very similar in what it does because you're bending, instead of at the elbow, you're bending at the knee. Anyways. Biceps brachii. The biceps brachii attaches at one of those protrusions of the, uh, of the uh, scapula. This is that coracoid process. So not the acromion process, which is what the clavicle attaches to. It's the coracoid process. And so you've got this attachment point, this uh, origin, and then going down, um, down the arm. Biceps brachii helps you flex at the humeral ulnar joint. Um, other muscles that help you do the same thing, if you look deep to the biceps brachii, you find another muscle. So it's a bit flatter and wider. This is the brachialis. Biceps brachii, and then deep to it, that's the brachialis. So the brachialis, just like the biceps brachii, also flexes at the humeral ulnar joint. Biceps brachii, brachioradialis. Then you've got a muscle, this big one on your forearm. Oh, not that big on mine. <laughs> this one right here, that's your brachioradialis. So in anatomical position, we're looking at this muscle on the anterior lateral part, brachioradialis. It's called the brachioradialis instead of the brachialis, like this other one here, because it's it's starting in the brachial region and going down to the radial side, brachioradialis. You can see it also here, starting here, wrapping around, brachioradialis. On the back side, oh sorry, on the brachioradialis, this is uh, helping you move your forearm as well. On the back side, the posterior side, So we're looking at a posterior view. Here's the deltoid, here's the scapula, uh, supraspinatus, infraspinatus. Here we have a muscle that has three heads. So biceps had two heads, this has three heads, uh, one's kind of deeper. This is the triceps, triceps brachii. Triceps brachii helps you extend your elbow, um, helps you extend your humeral ulnar joint. One other muscle that helps you move your, uh, your forearm. Let me go from this view. Here's the anterior side again. We can see a muscle uh, that connects across this way. So when this pulls, when this, this muscle is, in, is originating here at the, uh, at the humerus and inserting to the radius. Because it's crossed over like this, when it pulls, you're pulling this side down. So the palm region's gonna turn down. This is the pronator teres. It helps you pronate. Pronator teres. So once again, biceps brachii, brachialis underneath, deep to it. Brachioradialis, pronator teres, triceps brachii.